Little Red Riding Hood, a stick figure story by K. Ryan Hennessy. Not so long ago, and not so far away, there lived a little girl who was loved by everybody, but especially by her grandmother. Her grandmother had made her a red cloak with a bright red hood, and the girl wore it everywhere she went, and soon she became known as Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother filled a basket with treats and drinks and sent Red Riding Hood to her grandmother who lived far off into the woods. My dear, be sure to stay to the path. Don't wander off, her mother warned. And Riding Hood nodded in agreement and went on her way. Soon enough, she entered into the forest and met the wolf. Red Riding Hood had never met the wolf before, and she had no idea what kind of creature he was, so she had no reason to be afraid. Hey, little girl, how are you doing? said the wolf. I'm just fine, how are you? said Red Riding Hood. Where are you off to? asked the wolf, and Red Riding Hood told him. She was off to see Grandmother. Well, he said, you should wander off the path and pick a few flowers for her, Grandmothers love when little girls give them flowers. And Riding Hood thought it was a great idea. So she wandered off the path and began to pick flowers. And every time she'd pick one, she'd see another just out of reach. And she'd get a little farther and a little farther away from the path. As she wandered, the wolf, tricky little creature that he is, wandered quickly down the path to Grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Who's there? she hollered through the door. Why, it's Red Riding Hood, he said, pretending to be the girl. Come in, come in, she called, and she unlocked the door and let him in, and he quickly gobbled her up and swallowed her whole, and she was gone, and he dressed himself in her clothes, and he jumped into bed just in time for Red Riding Hood to come up to the cottage and knock at the door. Come in, come in, said the wolf, disguised as the grandmother, and Red Riding Hood entered, and she looked at her grandmother, and she said, Why, grandmother, what big ears you have, and the wolf said, Yes, yes, the better to hear you with, my dear, and the girl looked, and she said, Why, grandmother, what big eyes you have, and the wolf said, yes, yes, the better to see you with, my dear. And the girl looked at the wolf and she said, why, grandmother, what great long arms you have. And the wolf snatched her and said, yes, the better to grab you with. And the girl yelled, why, grandmother, what big teeth you have. And the wolf said, yes, what better to eat you with. And with that, he swallowed her whole and was happy and content. The wolf soon fell asleep and was quickly snoring and could be heard throughout the woods. The huntsman happened to be passing by, and he thought, How strange that the old woman is snoring so loudly. I, I better go check on her just to make sure that nothing is the matter. And so he went up into the cottage and he opened the door and walked right in, and there he saw the wolf curled up on the bed, nice and fat. And the huntsman was about to shoot the wolf, but then he thought, hmm, where's the old woman? And so instead, he cut open the wolf's belly, and there he saw a red hood, and he pulled on it and pulled on it, and out sprang Little Red Riding Hood, and behind her the old woman, and they were overjoyed to be freed. Red Riding Hood, from that day on, made sure to stick to the path and listen to what her mother had said. The end. Be sure to visit kryanhennessy.com for more of my art, for more of my stories, and be sure to download Sleepy Safari for free to your iPad or other devices. Look for my other books as well.